The following program contains testimonies of true stories by people who have received divine healing through the ministry of VPA. They gave these voluntarily without any directives from VPA. We advise you to always seek your medical practitioner's advice before you make any decisions based on this program. Get ready for incredible testimonies in VPA. Started on him. That thing disappeared and everything was now all right. Shut Jesus! They suddenly! They suddenly! They fire! I saw skin, like snake skin, fall in the bathroom. Shut Jesus! No more insane, no more medical, no more nothing. Go! Shut Jesus! Your story has changed. Wait, God, God, the name of Jesus, your God, story has changed. This man came here last year, did this, did this round for 13 weeks. You announced that three people have a directional problem, they should come out. Come here! You blessed him. That he was not working. Yes. His wife is now here now. The wife is now pregnant. And he's ah, the blood of Jesus! One, two, three, fire! One, two, three, fire! Stay tuned for more incredible testimonies in VPA. Victorious Pen. Daddy, your daughter is thanking the God of VPA for giving her more and more strength and for making her a super champion in super sports. Wow. Super champion and super... Sports. What a... Give her the microphone. Look at how sharp she is. She looks mom, but matured. What has God done to you? Um, I'm thanking God because um, when I do running, um, I always be fast and I always pray for God to give me more and more strength. Very bold. Very bold and sharp. Keep it up. I'm very bold. He said, he said when I'm about to run, I always tell God to give me strength and... Wow. What a pretty age are you? Where are you from? Um, I mix. My mum's from Africa and my dad's from England. Very intelligent. Very intelligent. Before he tell you where he come from, he say, I'm miss. I am miss. I am both sad. <laughs> I am both sad. I am white and black. I am white and black. I am complete. <laughs> wow. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Say thank you. Can you hug me, please? What an opportunity. Wow. So you, so you want this? Yeah. So how did it happen? Um, I done a relay. You done a relay? Yeah. And after the relay, what happened? And um, they gave us our trophies. Wow, well, and this is one of the trophies. This is a trophy. Yeah. You will win a lot in Jesus' name. Father, look, look at her. She acknowledge you. Say Jesus over to you. Say, Lord, take all the glory. Take all the glory. In Jesus' name. Your time has come. Before I came to VPA, I was um, I went to university and I was supposed to do a course for five years. And I, I couldn't finish. I was stuck at level three. That's, I repeated three times. And I was asking myself, I was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not stupid. I'm, I'm a smart person. I was helping my friends and they were graduating. And I was still stuck. And I couldn't understand what was going on. So I was depressed. I was, you know, I was at a, that was the lowest point in my life. I was about to commit suicide. I was ready to die. But, you know, every time I thought about it, something would tell, tell me, calm down. Just, you know, it's okay. Everything is okay. Everything will be okay. So, my aunt brought me to VPA. The first day I came, everything changed. Shut Jesus! This is a miracle. This is the boy himself. He said he was about committing suicide. He said he helped people to graduate. He helped them solve things. When he comes to his own, Nothing is working for him. He knew that there's a problem. The 
instead of the problem is to commit suicide. You must only know that when the devil come and strike you, he knew there is something good coming your way. But he wants you to kill yourself before that they come. Church, this is, I, I love what you are saying. You said you, you know yourself. You have confidence in what you are doing. You help people to solve it. But when it comes to your own, you fail three times. And he said, the auntie worship him. I told her, let's go here. And he came here. Everything changed. And I declare from S4. Give me the anointing quickly. Oh, go ahead. When I came, um, I, they, gave, they basically kicked me out of school because they said, you failed three times. I told them, I can continue, I can do this. Because in my last year, I, the, well, the year that just passed, I met the credits requirements. So I thought everything was going to be okay. They said no. They kicked me out. And I said, I can't go back to Nigeria. My mom is a single mother. I'm her only hope. I can't go back. Hey. No job. Like, I applied here. They went, what was I going to do? So something said, I play football. I used to play football. I still love playing football, but they stopped me from playing football because they wanted me to get an education. So something told me to, to go for a showcase. And just, just go. You know, I'm 24. I was like, what? Why am I still trying? So I went. And he said, you know, he, was, he wasn't he really, really saying anything to me. For a couple of months, I was saying, you know, what's going on? Like, this is just too much. I, I can't do this anymore. But I kept coming here. You know, I kept believing. Some months later, something told me, incorporate a company. I got, I went there, I did it. I have a company now. He, con he continued, I said, okay, this is, this, is, this is something is going on, this is the start of something. I continued, I, co I used, you know, the, whole, the, the anointing oil. Yeah. I continued using the anointing oil. Some months later, the, the consultants I was using came to me and told me that a coach in Florida, America, wants, to, wants me to play for his, his school. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I, I didn't want to believe it. I thought maybe he was playing, you know, this, you know, this game. Like, I, 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 I was like, okay, I'm going to continue coming to church. I'm going to continue believing in God. I continued. I had to write an exam to get into business school because that's what I wanted to do. I wrote the first time. It didn't work. I said, this is happening again. It's happening again. What am I going to do? Something you said, pray. Pray. As I was praying, something told me, you're going to pass the next exam. But you have to sow a seed of 50, 50 pounds. I said, where am I going to get 60 pounds from? I'm not even working at the moment. He said, you know, you just do it. The exam came. I went to the exam. I passed. I brought 50 pounds. To, to, brought, to whom? To, I, gave, I put it in your hand. Church Jesus! Say it's Russia. Say it's Russia. Say it's Russia. Mm. After that, I, I give, I send my scores to the school and still they said, we can't, you know, we, we have to take it to the business committee. I said, you know, why is all this happening? But, you know, at the end of the day, I was thinking, God has a reason for all these things that are going on. Some days ago, I opened my, I checked my emails and I saw that they had accepted my offer. And now, shout Jesus! Now on the 15th of August, next month, I'm going to America to play football. I have a company, and I'm going to be studying the master's in business administration. You will start scholarship. You are studying. You are playing football. Let's go. Let's go. Give me the oh yeah. Day, he will make Put your shoe. A way. Put your shoe. He will make a way. Give me your leg. Father, if us distract Holy Spirit, take over. Jesus, take over. That you come back with testimony in Jesus' name. He will make a way for me. 
I uh, praise God. Um, I, I, I love your suit and yours. Bless you, sir. Thank you. Come. Thank you, Daddy. Um, I had the opportunity to go to Ireland with you, so I got my feet washed there. And when we came back on the Monday, I applied to two jobs, the same company. Uh. One, I got rejected, but the better one they called me for. So she said, come on Thursday, do the interview, but I had to do a test. I tried to do the test at home. It wasn't working. It was messing around. So I called her. I said, oh, that the test isn't working. She said, we don't normally take people because you haven't, got the, you haven't met the requirement, but still come. So I went, I went to a reception. I gave him my name. And I used our secret formula. I rolled for God in the toilet. Because I said, I've been here. Every single person that has testified that has rolled in the toilet, they got their papers, they got promotion. Who got demoted? <laughs> yeah, they got promoted. So I said, God will do my own too. Yes, yes, yes. So I went to the interview. This was at 4.30. I left. And they said they'll call me back in seven days. Daddy. <laughs> 20, less than 24 hours, they called me and they said that we're giving you the job. Church sisters! And, and I'm thanking God because I graduated this year as well. I had my graduation on Tuesday. And I'm thanking God because it wasn't, it's just not an ordinary job. They gave me a specialist role in the head office because I work in the bank now. So I give Jesus all the praise. I exalt his name. Church sisters! Oh. Hold me closely to the sun With love and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make a way He just graduated from the school and he got a job He graduated from the school When did you graduate? This Tuesday This Tuesday be fast. Shout Jesus! Jesus! Shout Jesus! Jesus! Daddy, mm. your God is the best. I know. You are the best. I know. You are a father. You are very loving. You are very caring. God, we honor you. Amen. God, we honor you. Amen. God, we elevate you. Amen. It will be well with you, Daddy. Amen. Mm. Amen. 2011, I started coming to this church. Whoa. When Daddy said, women, apply wisdom, mm -hmm. apply wisdom, my husband will not come. I came with my brother-in-law and my mother and the last baby. What can I do? Who was your brother-in-law? Muiwa, Muiwa, Larry, why you? Mm -hmm. I apply wisdom. That's my, my, my lovely brother. Yeah, I apply wisdom. I said, what can I do for my husband? Before he comes, his best food, I love cooking. I can be in the kitchen for six hours, cooking all different kinds of food for my husband. Is that true? Yes. No wonder you're looking younger. Yes. My husband will not eat outside, but I make sure I cook for him. I will do How will he eat outside when you have cheese food? <laughs> so the, the house will be quiet, respect. The children, when the dad is coming, the house is calm. Yeah. No noise. Chama is coming in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Chama is coming in the house. <laughs> I really want to thank God. I apply wisdom. I said, what can I do? I carry on with my deliverance. One day, that, that was a program. I said to my husband, I said, Daddy was running a program for three days. I said, please come with me. He said, take children. Then we, we turned to a channel. They were preaching about prosperity. So we say these days they don't even preach about holiness and righteousness. Then he came with me. I cook his best food. He came with me. As soon as we entered the church, when daddy said, shout Jesus. The next thing after that, daddy said, I'm going to preach on holiness and righteousness. It was as if daddy was in our living room. Since that day, shout Jesus. <laughs> so my husband started coming to this church. My husband cannot find happiness in anywhere apart from VBA. <laughs> Church, what the man is talking, look at his face. Oh, you're, oh, oh, uh, you can't even prove that. Look at this one, look more matured. He look more matured. He just like the father and son, maturity. You know, the investment shows. The investment shows. <laughs> You understand me? Yes, sir. The investment show. You don't even need to talk too much. We will see couples that um, are not strictly. <laughs> they are next, you know, when you are, you know, they are able, uh, they are not of 50 years already. They are mice already. <laughs> Daddy, please, I 
have got two powerful testimony. Your God travels all over with miracles. Uh, no. 2010, my cousin married. Nothing, nothing. When I went to Nigeria last year, I bought all the miracle ingredients from this church. All my clothes, when I got to the airport, they said, I can't take it. I said, I don't care. I said, my father has blessed this Rabina and everything. I must take it to Nigeria. Wow. To the glory of God, my cousin is carrying a baby. Praise the Lord. Church Jesus. Look at the testimony. Are you not a courage? If you know you are a courage, Church Jesus. Jesus. Daddy. One more, sir. On the 5th of April, that is the best. Whether you like it or not, he said, Father, it's very hard working. On the 5th of April, while everybody were having their Easter Monday, somebody wanted to come and see Daddy. I was in agony. Yeah, and I seized the opportunity. I said, let me come with her so that I can see Daddy. And I was a few weeks before my son graduated. So I was in pain. They don't know what was wrong with me. I came that day. Minister Clara can testify to this. I claimed that day I was in pain. I was the last person for daddy to be seen. Daddy said, you are too hot for the enemies to take your life. He said, they did a series of tests. I started to panic because I'm a nurse. I know what it means. They did a series of tests. Daddy said they will find nothing. He said, you are too hot for the enemy to take your life. I really want to thank God. I'm free. God has set me free. Shut Jesus. Tell the devil. You didn't do it well. Say. Cockroach. Look at that. Say. Cockroach. It's done. Cockroach. <laughs> your time has come. Go ahead, enjoy the Holy Ghost with me. Enjoy the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the God of BP. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord of Pastor Hallelujah. Glory and honor be unto you forever and Take ever. Take it, Lord Jesus. Lord, we give you the glory. Thank you, Master. With I stand here. Thank you, Jesus. To testify of the wonders that you are doing on this green carpet. Hey. Lord God Almighty, we acknowledge you. Pasales is a true called man of God. We have dreamt, I dreamt you, Pastor. We, we, the whole family was afflicted. Aye. And we came to see you in 2013 July. And you, as I was walking to, with the minister lady towards you, and as I sat down, you Which said, said uh, uh, my daughter? Yes. Good girl. My daddy, we came to see you one on one. Myself and my friend of mine. And um, I came first. And as pastor was ushering me to you, and as I sat down, you said, oh, I see affliction all over. I see attacks all over. Sit down. And I sat down. And then you, I took out the picture of the whole family because we were all afflicted, pastor. And we to I told you just in a nutshell, and you said, where is your, is that your husband in the picture? I said, yes. He said, where is he? I said, he couldn't get the time off to come. He said, let him come and see me quickly. So you prayed, and then I pointed to my daughter, who was also afflicted badly at the time. And you prayed for me, and you said, go and tell your husband to come and see me. So I did. The actions you did, my friend said, something must, pastor must have seen something for him to be the way he is. And I said, yes. So when I got home, I told my husband, and we came to you. On the 29th of July, we came to you again. And you said, everything will be okay. Pastor, we started deliverance. But because I couldn't, we started two weeks of deliverance straight away. And the second week, pastor, things started happening. And then there was the watching of Church Jesus. Jesus. Is it things that are happening? Things that are happening. Hallelujah. Church. And then, luckily, there was a fish watching on that very year, the watch night. So we came, my husband and I only. The others, as you know already, we were still praying for them. We came, he washed his feet. We did it that day. He was in great pain. And when we were driving home, he said, Georgina, my, my leg, my leg, said, it will be okay. Truly, when we got home, he went to sleep. In the night, he sweated. 
and then the pain was gone. Shout Jesus! Jesus. He came back here and he testified. Well, for the past four or five years, well, I'm working as a man, as a human, but I'm not fit at the standard to stand on my two feet. Well, for the past two, three years, they've been telling me that I should have gone. They'd have gone already. But as we be praying, praying, praying all over, and there comes a time, my wife, as a friend, told the wife, like, let's go and try. There is a church in Barking or some of that. Where's the wife come? Yeah, just a while. Well. So as we were coming, the first day, we could see a change. Uh -uh. The first day we see Can we change. appreciate Jesus? Yeah. On and on, it's a quite long terms and condition whereby I can't stand there and then digest everything. But it just a few days ago, if I'm working, I could feel that I'm falling half leg or something like that, three quarters of the leg cannot be fitted. And as the feet been washed over here, overnight, even though I had a very strong pain in my body as we were driving, we drove home. The following morning as I woke up, sweat. I can't believe it. Shut Jesus! He's over there. But we still have my, our, my friend, had come our daughter. Let me see you, my friend. We still had our big daughter. My friend, come, let me see you. Love you, man. Wow. We still had our big daughter. Finished university over 10 years ago. Couldn't get a job. Everywhere she goes, they tell her how nice she is, how wonderful she is, how quiet she is. But she never got a job. They turn her down. They either say, you are too overqualified, this and that. And the last job she got was at the Docklands. After three months, for no reason, they called her and they said, you are overqualified, we cannot pay you. So I'm afraid we will give you a year's pay and just look for another job. We are willing to give you a, a, a reference when you get another job. This really sent shock waves and she became so depressed. Church, you know already, the rest is history. But thanks be to God, we keep coming to church, coming to church, praying. Pastor, God bless you. Imparting, speaking words of wisdom. Those, all the books Pastor has, I bought the whole lot. I gave her, I said, read. If you can't come, I said, I will come, I will come. Eventually, she went into hospital because of this problem. But thanks be to God, we were here on an all night and pastor prophesied, he said, somebody, you are somewhere you're not supposed to be. And I claim it, I said, I'm sure this is talking about my daughter. And truly pastor, I have a lot to say, but please I'll cut it short because God has been faithful in this green carpet to us. And we owe him. So what happened was, that very day, the, the weekend passed. On Monday, my daughter called and she said, Mom, I've been told to come home for two hours and go back. I said, Glory be to God. Church Jesus. Jesus. So she came home. And then the following week, the same, the third week, she said, Mom, they said, I'm discharged. And I thank God for that. And I said, Now that you are discharged, you are coming to the green carpet with us. She where, said, where is she now? She's there. Daughter, come. In December, we came to see you again. And uh, Pastor Uche, as we were coming, she Give said, me the your time has come. And she remembered it. She said, Mom, the lady said, my time has come. I said, yes, your time has come. So claim it. And then she, we did our deliverance with her again. And we were cleared. And today, she, this is her. She's now looking for a job. She was visiting the doctors, and the last time we went, the doctor said, when I saw you, I feel good. You look good. Are you so, okay? She said, what cause? Did you study what cause? What cause? What cause? She did um, social science. Social science. Yes. The God of VPA is on oppression in our lives. Let's remain faithful and believe. Father, that day, do it. you gave her the strength to go to school. Then what is the job? 
you said is there anything to add for you to do for the anointing for favor the anointing of exception accepting upon your daughter now that wherever she will go or wherever she has done that application and approve her now that you will come back and testify every voice is speaking to you today they are deleted You have testified. You have testified. Come back with more testimony. I declare. You will. You, the enemy will not. You will not. You will not. Do not prevail over you. And I declare doors to be opened up for you. That whatever is not traceable to Jesus is out of you. You will come back and testify about your children. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Jesus.